And here what we're going to show you is the new Holodesk uh, with our multi-touch content uh, management system allowing users to interact with the uh, a whole wide variety of content here, PDFs, videos, graphics and websites. And we're just going to give you a little sampling of how you can use this software to enhance your presence. So first we'll go to the, to the video wall where we've got a whole range of uh, content, videos, PDFs, graphics, websites and so forth. So we'll just show you one or two pieces. Comes up with the bottom row of information. Now these can be replicated so uh, you can have a range of um, content uh, to present. So let's go straight to a video. We have a range of videos here and we could scroll through bringing up uh, more videos as well. And so we've brought up <laughs> we can drag it over to wherever we can see it's on and so forth. So we can, we can close it again. Uh, we can scroll across. And um, we can bring them up. So we can have a range here. We can expand them. So we can press it for play. We can now bring them up and uh, just drag them across the desktop wherever we may feel uh, they should be. Play another one on top. And uh, John Hart here. Cool. So again, we can bring up some other content, the whole content, videos, some uh, graphics, It's important when you do the touch action to actually make it um, not to overwhelm the controller and actually make them very distinct. <laughs> So we've got multiple modes, you can just see a little bit of the videos playing underneath there. And so that's uh, just some of the content you can access through the media wall where you can have a range of content. And of course there are some other aspects uh, of presenting the product. So we have this video wall, or media wall, I should more easily describe it as, where we can actually access a number of different um, components. So we have here, for example, the requester. So on the request, you can load into that part of the menu, your brochures, and then when people come to express an interest and explore those brochures, you can capture their details, their name and email address. Um, for this one here, for example, which is quite a familiar content um, action, is where you can actually swipe the, the photographs across and so forth. And you would just keep going until you ran out of photographs. And so forth. Again, to cancel back again, just hit the corner button. So we have a similar sort of situation here using the I'm find it here, using the video player. So you can just go straight in here and it will load it up. And so as you can see here now, we have a range of videos that are waiting for us to select. So we can just scroll across again, similar sort of scenario. Now these could be quite different videos to other parts of the content management system. So it allows you to present content, a, a mix and match of content, or the same content, just giving regard to how you might um, facilitate people to access that information. And so that's now going to load. And as you can see, it automatically comes out the full screen. You control the buttons here, the whole screen. Uh, what we do is make it smaller and you can also surfaces. So we make the menu buttons um, yeah. disappear. Six millimeter Touch the screen and it comes up again. So you can't scroll, it's not designed for scrolling. And we 
we apply that soft technology into the rain. And of course, as you can see, we can just keep scrolling through to uh, different aspects we might want. A little game feature here is the puzzle. Capture the details of the, um, of the user. Go OK. And now you're presented with a number of photographs. You can select which one you would uh, care to work on. And of course, you can select one. And as you can see, it comes up now with a segment uh, picture and with a start. So we can go start here. It scatters the, the components of the image and now the challenge is, is to reassemble the picture. Now that picture could be anything that you care to imagine. It could be a product, it could be a, a word sequence, um, whatever you could uh, think of and how you'd look like to use it. And of course then it gives you the score. So you could be using this as an educational tool, you could be using it as a method to engage people on your exhibit stand and maybe the quickest person is uh, going to get the prize. Um, could be the, the, the picture could actually be of a product and the first and the fastest person to assemble the picture wins that product. So just a number of different ways of how you can use the software. It's really a framework and it's according to the content that you would add that would give it its unique um, element. So we're just going to cancel this part here now. And it comes back to the, um, to the familiar media wheel. And across the bottom here you can see scrolling text. So you can have that as a uh, text file that you would load in. And of course you can also add an RSS website feed and that would automatically come in after the content that you've got presented down the bottom. The entire inf interface can be skinned so we can skin it to your brand um, and so it looks as though it's actually your product um, and a very effective and powerful way for enabling people to access content and of course most people now are very familiar with the LCDs and so forth, it's a pretty common practice now to have an LCD on your screen. But the advantage of this system now is that you can go to the next level and add interactivity to what you're doing. Thanks for watching and uh, my name's Kevin and uh, look forward to hearing from you.